What's up guys? Good morning. I did a video a couple months ago on how to install uh, a security camera at your house, and this is the camera that I used, or this type of camera. I had a discovery about this camera, this particular model, the, the IPAMT2499EW. I think EW just means it's a white camera. 28mm for a 2.8 millimeter lens. I had a dis discovery about this camera. As you know, it's about 100 bucks. I think I picked up this one for 75 on sale, but you can pick them up on Amazon here. Today it's selling for 109, so pretty cheap. This is actually a relabeled Dawa camera, which I went over in my, I think I went over in the last video. But I discovered this morning that you can actually flash the Dawa firmware to this camera, this Amcrest camera, runs just fine. But one of the nice side effects of that is that it unlocks a lot of features like facial uh, facial detection, uh, intrusion, and all sorts of other things. So I'm going to show you how to do that on this brand new one in the box. Hopefully it's going to work the same way because I messed around with the one that was uh, it's already installed. And uh, let me give you a little tour of what it unlocks in the web interface. So one of the things you notice right away after flashing that Ancrest camera with the Dawa firmware is obviously everything is rebranded as Dawa. And after we log in, you'll notice that we no longer need to use Internet Explorer to view the live video stream. This is native Firefox and or Chrome, which is pretty cool. Now just to dive right in and show you some of those features. So if we go to, I think it's under event here. So in the stock Ancrest firmware, this smart plan option, this IVS option here. There's a facial detection option over here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. It's pretty small. But all these features weren't there before. Uh, I haven't explored them yet, but this is uh, pretty cool because these are features typically found in much more expensive cameras. I haven't figured out exactly which camera uh, or Dawa camera this Amcrest camera is, but um, I was able to find a firmware that works. So, without further ado, we'll get this camera unboxed and we'll uh, see if we can make it work. Alright, we're going to start the unboxing process. Just to kind of recap on some of the features of this camera, it's an 8 megapixel. It can record in 4K. It does audio and video. Or video, and I, I should emphasize the audio because a lot of cameras don't do audio. It is fixed, so there's no pan tilt zoom feature, but it's uh, if you get it aimed, it's got a fairly wide field of view. Uh, I don't remember the exact specifications, but it's much wider than the cameras that I've had. Um, also, Amcrest cameras or bullet cameras. I think it's maybe 30 degrees wider, I want to say. Don't hold me to that though. Maybe it says in the box. Let's see, field of view, does it say? 112 degrees, so pretty good. So this is what the camera looks like. So you have, uh, it's also, it does have night vision as well. And you have your network jack for PoE and data. And I think this is optionally uh, for power if you don't have PoE, but we do. All right, so let's get a cable, we'll plug it in, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so I got a simple Cat5e cable, I'm gonna plug it into the camera, like so. I've got a PoE switch up here in my rack, gonna plug that in, like so. That should boot the camera up. Then we can use uh, Dawa's tools uh, to figure, or I guess Amcrest tools to find the camera. So we'll do that now. See if we can find the camera ourselves. I went into my um, unified threat management device I use on Tangle here. Let's go to config, network, DHCP server. We'll see if we can figure out what the IP address, oh, there it is. We got the IP address right here so we can see that Untangle gave it an IP address of 10.224.37.167. So we'll copy that, paste it into a new browser window. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Well, I copied. 
copy, paste, there we go. So this is what the stock Amcrest firmware looks like. So obviously very different right, right away. So you can see it's badged Amcrest, whereas the other one was uh, badged with the Dowel logo, not a big deal. Uh, let me look up what the default login and password is. The default login and the default password are both admin, all lowercase. And once you do that, it prompts you to change the password. So we'll do that. Okay, I changed my password. And as you can see here, it's prompting me to install a plugin to look at the camera stream. And again, this is in Firefox. Notice when we installed the DAWA firmware, we did not have that problem. They installed or set up some kind of HTML5 based uh, video viewer. So that's certainly one weakness in the in the Amcrest firmware right off right out of the box. You must use IE. I mean, who uses IE anymore? Is it even relevant? Uh, okay, so we see we have the firmware from April 2019. So let's see if we can uh, flash the DAWA firmware. Now, how I figured out what firmware we need is I went to Amcrest. Uh, whoops. Selected the camera model again. It's an IP8M T2499EW. So I selected that. And you notice they have a new firmware from October, but oddly the version is the same. Not really sure what that's all about. So how I figured it out is if you hover over this link right here, it shows you in the status bar of the browser what the file name is. So you can I don't know if you can read that, but it says Amcrest IPC. HX, 5X, 3X, RIA, ENG, N Stream 3, Amcrest, and then a version number. What I did is I was able to figure out what file that corresponds to in DAWA's uh, firmware library. So I'm going to copy that file name to the clipboard. Paste it up here. Delete all this stuff here. So if we just search for that. See what comes up. So notice one of the, I think the fourth result is right here. And this is Dawa's firmware download repository. So again, let's uh, just get the part that we need in the clipboard because you'll see there's multiple versions in here. So we'll copy that. So I just have the HX, 5X, 3X, RIA in the clipboard. Control F and then paste. So you see here, Dawa has a whole mess of them. So what I downloaded was this one right here, which has that file name. It's a multi lang newer version. So we're going to download that and hit save. It's got to take a little while. I won't spare. I'll spare you guys that. We'll pick it up when the download's done. Okay, our download is done. We're going to extract the file we just downloaded. This is just standard Windows tools, and that will expose this file right here. And that's the firmware file you want. There's a lot of stuff in that zip file, but this is the file that you want. It's about 25 megs. So what we'll do is we'll go to our brand new camera in the web interface. We'll go to System, Upgrade, go to Browse, and we'll browse to that file. There we go, and we'll hit Upgrade. Now there's a chance it might say that the firmware is corrupt or invalid or something. I've seen that happen before. Um, if that's the case, I think that the workaround might be to install the latest Amcrest firmware, but we'll try it. And now it's transmitting the file. I won't bore you guys with this stuff either. Okay, so the file transmitted. Now it says rebooting. Please wait. We'll see if it worked. When I upgraded my other camera, it said something a little bit different. But it didn't give me an error message, so we'll see. Nope, it didn't appear to work. I'm back at an Amcrest login page. 
Let's refresh just to make sure. Yep, we are. So that, I don't think that worked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go download the Amcrest firmware. Search. We'll save this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the latest Amcrest firmware, then the latest Dawa firmware. Here, set up, upgrade, browse. Now we're gonna do the Amcrest firmware. Same procedure, let's see if this works. This should work. <clears throat> okay, so this is behaving differently now. What happened before, you could see this progress bar is moving real slowly, but what happened is only got a bar, a bar and a half, and then just rebooted itself. So I guess it detected some kind of invalid checksum in the file, or there must be some kind of verification step. So this looks like it's gonna work. Um, once this is done, the camera will reboot, then we'll try the DAWA firmware. Hey guys, I apologize. My GoPro Hero 7 Black ate some camera footage. You can see that that Amcrest upgrade did work. We have the new firmware build date. I'm now installing the DAWA firmware as you can see right there, and it is running right now. Um, and I should mention that this latest Amcrest firmware, the 1024 firmware, does include an HTML5 based uh, video stream viewer, which is pretty cool. But now that the upgrade is working, as you can see, it does appear that the latest Amcrest firmware from October 24th uh, does unlock some kind of a feature or some kind of restriction that now allows us to flash the DAWA firmware. And again, this firmware I highly suspect is made by DAWA. So the firmware upgrade is complete, it's rebooting. We'll pick it up when the reboot is done. It should look very different. And we should have that face detection and all that stuff along the left side. Okay, we're loading. Slowly. There we go. So now we have a new P2P -P wizard. It's a new setup wizard that the Encrest camera did not have. So you can actually scan this QR code and uh, link this camera to your phone. I've already done that, so we'll just next through this. You can automatically check for firmware updates, kind of cool. Let's save. And now we'll log in. get our stream which is simply just looking up in my server closet and let's go to settings and we'll see that voila we have some pretty cool stuff exposed here we have the same stuff I showed you before we have the face detection IBS I still have to read the documentation where all these features are but these features are not there in the MCrest firmware so very nice and we've confirmed that we are on that 2.8 version of the DAWA firmware with uh, just released a month ago. So, all right, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, um, hope it works for you. And uh, please subscribe if you liked it. Thanks.